The Hyundai Wea LV1400 this is the vertical lathe just for turning. Now, why would I choose a vertical lathe over a flat bed lathe? Well, in common with many people who want these days a chucking machine, shall we say, for turning rather than a shaft turning machine. As diameters increase on a lathe and as lathes become more commodity items, then the length of the bed increases exponentially. Now, on the machine like this, a customer wants a machine, he wants to turn a large diameter ring, perhaps. Um, he doesn't need a bed length, he doesn't need a tailstock. So a vertical, of any sort of guys really, be it a 300, 500, 800, or in this case the LV1400 with 1.4 metre turning diameter, um, then this is the right machine for him. So it's application specific predominantly and also you're saving on, on footprint. Absolutely, the footprint on something like this, you know, if you consider how big, and they are very, very big, you don't have to look around the shop. Uh, a, a machine can actually be as a, a horizontal spindle machine. There's a lot of space can be saved by utilising a vertical machine such as this one. I mean, you touched on capacity 1400. Now, what's the, the swing diameter? What's the, the maximum height of component that you can put on there? And what kind of weight uh, component can you present to the spindle? Um, well, certainly on this machine, the LV1400, as the name suggests, you can actually turn 1400 millimetres diameter. I suggest you may be able to scrape a little bit more out of that one, but you can actually swing 1450. And turning height is 850, although I should point out, this is a standard model. This is how we bring them in as standard. Now, if a customer said to me, well, look, I don't want to turn 850, I want to turn 950, then we could actually offer a machine with an extended 200 millimetres column height which wouldn't be an issue. It would be still a very, very standard machine, but um, it's something that we can actually offer to the customers. What's the maximum weight, though, that can be actually be put onto this machine? Well, incredibly, you know, put up to four and a half tonnes on this machine. Uh, how many people have got a four and a half tonne component is a bit debatable, but you can actually put a, a significant weight such as that onto this machine. And that highlights its kind of rigidity? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's... It's not, a, it's not well, it's a, a toy machine, this is very much a, a workhorse. Um, it's something that people are going to put in and they're going to work it and they, you know, as much as possible. It's suitable for a range of different materials from soft aluminiums up to high integrity aerospace and materials suitable for the oil and gas industry. And now I'm going to touch on the RAM. Now why would you choose a RAM over a turret? Accessibility more than anything else. You know, the thing is with the turret, as turrets, uh, as the actual turning diameter gets bigger, the overall machine gets bigger, the turret has to be, become bigger to accommodate the different tool lengths that you can be fit on such a machine. Uh, you are, generally speaking, boring operations, and as boring bars get longer, then inevitably the clearances between the tools becomes less and less. Now, with a RAM, you only have one tool in position at any one time. You have a 12 station carousel, which accesses another 11 tools, but you only have one tool in at once. So the accessibility, uh, the, ca the capability and the, the clearances around the actual tool itself and the workpiece are absolutely phenomenal. And what about the rigidity of the RAM, but also the construction of this machine? Well, the RAM itself is 200 millimeter square box, as you can see. It is a, you know, it's, it's just a sub substantial RAM. The co overall construction is all cast irons, cast iron base, cast iron column, cast iron cross slide, which is a fixed cross slide on this machine. Um, but um, actually the difference is on this particular cross slide, is, uh, it is a, a box guideway with a, a steel plate inserted into it, which uh, is claimed it offers a further 10% rigidity on the, on the actual cross slide. It is a very well put together, very well thought out machine but there is a further option to enhance that to 16 tools. So you can have up to 16 turning tools in there. And, and the programming language? In common with most hand eye machines, uh, it's a FANUC. It's a FANUC control. Our customers like FANUC. It's very straightforward. It will come with uh, MGI, Manual Guide Eye, as a standard feature. Um, it's just how we bring the machines in these days. Come standard also with Renishaw probing, I noticed, and, and Swarf management, which is, it, which is a standard. You know, when we go to Hyundai, we can, generally speaking, have just about anything we like. Uh, TW Ward, we, we do know the market quite well. We know, we're trying to understand what our customers are always looking for. And chip conveyors, you say, uh, Swarf management, bed wash, 
tool setting on the machine is all very, very important and all part of the standard equipment. And, you know, there are other uh, vertical lathe manufacturers on the market. Why would they look to choose this machine in particular? I think there's a number of things. You know, Hyundai, we are a growing reputation as a quality piece of equipment. Uh, and people want to not just buy the first machine. They come towards uh, for, for a, a, a turning machine. They go away with a Hyundai. They like the fact that they can buy a Hyundai machine, which is a quality machine from a quality supplier with quality support and service, and so they want to come back when they look for a second machine or a third machine, and if that machine happens to be a, a, a vertical turning machine on this occasion, then this is a super choice. This machine is in stock in Sheffield. Now, if someone's watching this video and is interested, how, how should they get in touch with you? Uh, they can call TW Ward sales hotline, um, or alternative emailers and we'd be very very pleased to show them this machine and of course all the others in the showroom any one time. We rely very heavily on the fact that we have got stock available. People like that idea. People like to be able to come along and not just look at a brochure but actually come along and touch a machine and see what it can do. And from that perspective we've been very successful.